I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, my torch setup. Uh, if you don't already have a torch for your shop, this may give you another option to consider. Uh, this is about as basic of a setup as you're going to find. And uh, I'll also talk a little bit about um, propane as opposed to acetylene. One good thing is that you can use the same gauges on either acetylene or propane because the uh, threads are the same. Now the only thing that you can't do with propane that you can do with acetylene is weld. But uh, that's probably not going to be much of an issue nowadays. Um, as far as cutting goes, uh, propane gets the job done just fine. Now, one obvious advantage of using propane is the availability. Uh, if I had to, I could go down to the corner grocery store and pick up one of these bottles at 10 o'clock at night if I needed to. Uh, and one of these bottles lasts quite a while. Uh, I'll have to uh, I'll have to switch this oxygen tank out probably three maybe four times before I switch out one uh, propane tank. Now, if you use propane, one thing you're going to want to do is get a propane tip. Now, this is the uh, tip that uh, for acetylene that came with the torch, and you can it will work. It will work with one of those, but not as well as a as a tip that's made for the propane gas. And uh, you can see it's a, it's a little two-piece. And I think it's a number, this is a number one. And I use that, works well for me for most of what I do. And I rarely switch it out. I don't even think I have another one. But uh, yeah, if you, uh, if you use propane, you're going to want to get a, a propane tip. Now to light the torch, you're going to use the same procedure as you would with, uh, with an acetylene torch. Uh, you're going to open your, your oxygen valve all the way until it back seats. And you're just going to crack open your gas valve about a, about a half, three quarter turn or so. And the reason that is, is if for some reason you were to lose control of your flame, you could just reach over here and quickly turn that off. Now you light the propane torch the same as you would uh, an acetylene torch. I'm just going to crack open the fuel valve and light it and open the fuel valve until I get a full flame and open up the uh, oxygen valve until I get the uh, until I get the sharp cone at the center of the tip. When you cut it off, just cut the fuel off and then cut the oxygen off. Now for heating, uh, oxypropane works really well. Uh, this is a piece of uh, half inch rebar and I'll just uh, I'll show you how long it takes to uh, heat this to cherry red. Here's a rusty three quarter inch bolt. We'll see how long it takes to cut the head off of it. This is a piece of 3 8 thick.
So I like an oxypropane torch. I think it works well. Uh, it's cheap and it's easy. One thing I would recommend uh, is getting some different size tips for different size materials. Um, I think having the correct size tip will uh, greatly improve the uh, quality of the cut, uh, especially when it comes to the thinner materials. So uh, if you want to give uh, propane a try, uh, go ahead and uh, if you don't like it, you can always use it for cooking burgers. So that's the video and thanks for watching.